Rolling all cameras, rolling sound. Shalom. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Shut Up, Ya Kunal. Today with me is Karuna Nandi, a Supreme Court lawyer, and Siddharth Vadrajan, the co-founding editor of Wire. And we're here to discuss how uh, Robert Vadra is still India's biggest problem. <laughs> Jokes apart, uh, Wire is for all of you guys who don't know, Wire is an independent media house which is not funded by any brand yet, and they kind of, you all kind of put out most news which matters the citizen, so to say. And do not put out like popcorn stuff. You all have put out nothing on Ritik and Kangna, basically. No, no. So <laughs> that's the institution that you all are. Bollywood's ugliest star war: Kangna versus Ritik. Kangana and Hithik Spratt is spiraling out of control. His team has also come out to suggest that there was a definite attempt to seduce him. Was Hithik Roshan stalked? <clears throat> Lawyers, activists, politicians, documentary filmmakers, advocates, everyone's on this panel today. So All by now you are Mr. Kang Mr. Kangana Rana. If I can put it, I'm just I'm I'm being lighthearted about it. And currently, y'all are go uh, y'all are going through a lot of problems because of what you report, so to say. I wouldn't call it a problem, really. Uh, there's a challenge that we face of uh, defamation cases, lawsuits right. uh, filed by the rich and powerful in this country yeah. uh, for, uh, to my mind, on frivolous grounds. Right. Uh, because they don't like stories, certain stories that we've published. So whenever I discuss this with other people, the response is that if they are not printing anything which is wrong, then what is the worry? They'll win the case. In this particular case that Mr. Amit Shah's son Jay Shah has filed, yeah. there are seven people, yeah. right? So and he's filed a civil defamation case and a criminal defamation case, right? Right. So for the first hearing and each subsequent hearing. If the if the if if physical presence is required, that's fourteen round trip air tickets, right? <laughs> For wow. each visit, right? That's like so, a family vacation without your family. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and think of the expense because you know the wire is a not for profit media institution, right? Right. We are, uh, we operate on a kind of shoestring budget. So if mm -hmm. if four or five lakhs are going to go in uh, paying the airfare of all the. Uh, accused and the you know kind of the lawyers who have to go etc. Forget about the lawyers' fees. Yeah, it's clear that this is a method of harassing you. Yeah, and ensuring that you deplete your financial resources, besides diverting us away from the task of actually doing journalism, right? Which yeah. is what what the wire is all about. Um, even when there's defamation, right? People's reputations are important, but. The way the law is now, which is that you have these constant like hundred crore, five hundred crore. You know, people yeah. are just who hundred crore damage comes from where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. एक खबर पर मानहानि का मुकदमा सौ करोड़ का ये मानहानि है या सौ करोड़ की धमकी मुकदमा क्या है रिपोर्ट क्या है इसकी डिटेल कहीं नहीं छपी है ये बड़ा कर दिया गया है कि सौ करोड़ की मानहानि होगी वायर अपनी स्टोरी पर कायम है और मानहानि का ऐलान होने के बाद भी अंग्रेजी से हिंदी में अनुवाद छापा जय शाह ने रविवार को अपनी सफाई दी जिसे वायर ने हिंदी और अंग्रेजी दोनों में छापा है एक और पहलू इस मामले में सामने आया है एडिशनल सोलिसिटर जनरल तुषार मेहता ने कहा है की वे जय शाह का केस लड़ेंगे इसके लिए छह अक्टूबर को ही कानून मंत्रालय से अनुमति मिल गई है स्टोरी छपी है आठ अक्टूबर को दो दिन पहले ही तुषार मेहता ने केस लड़ने की तैयारी कैसे कर ली एक मामला असुरक्षित लोन का भी है जिसे लोन देने वाली कंपनी ने कथित तौर पर अपने भाई खाते में नहीं दिखाया मतलब पंद्रह करोड़ आप दे दें कंपनी के अकाउंट से कहीं दिखाया भी नहीं कहीं होता है जी स्टोरी के अमाउंट आई सो इट एंड बेसिकली क्वेश्चन important questions that were asked hmm. the other side's view was taken the other side's view was published hmm. it was said that if you have anything else to say even that will publish right all of that so in such a situation look at the point that we have come to hmm. that even questions that are asked based on public records where the other side's uh, response is taken hmm. it is said that any further explanation you have is carried can be subject to so much you know and it is lauded For asking the questions, question and on the other hand, is suppressed for asking the questions. 
Mr. Modi is trying to set a shining example of transparency. Right. So public persons, especially BJP president, if such a case has come in the public domain, sure. in the interest of transparency, why don't you just let it be examined? Rohini Singh who did the story, she broke the Vadra story. When she wrote the Vadra story, Congress didn't accuse her of agenda. These guys want to accuse her of an agenda. वो बदनामी करने की एक कोशिश की जा रही है कांग्रेस ने भी डिफेमेशन केस करना चाहिए था जिसने भी एक रॉबर्ट वाद्रा का उठाया यही पत्रकार के ऊपर कांग्रेस ने डिफेमेशन का केस करना चाहिए था अगर उनकी बातें झूठ थी इसलिए हम इतना स्पष्ट आपके सामने भी आ गए और हम डिफेमेशन का केस फाइल कर रहे हम तो डिफेमेशन कर रहे हैं ना वेन दियरिंग टेक्स प्लेस आई हैव नो डाउट इन माई माइंड Yeah. that we will emerge victorious yeah but if this happens 4 years or 5 years down the road where I've, where we've had to spend lakhs and lakhs of rupees which we don't have yeah what's the value of that kind of judgment and yeah. if you think about all the stories that we wouldn't have been able to do as a result you can see that there is a very very great cost which is being exacted on us so we we advise this across the board what we always do is at the preliminary stage ask for damages against the other party mm. so that the chilling effect is not just one way It's so that people ways. are going to be more careful before they embroil people in litigation right. following nsc versus money life and the other such, other such line of judgments and secondly ask be very aggressive mm. and ask for the case to be disposed of under order 7 rule 11 for not disclosing a cause of action due to the fact that it does not like at the very least you have to say that the how the damage was caused and the damage was attributable right right would there be even one instance where you would be able to point out where criminal defamation has been used uh, rightly by a corporation see kunal i am the wrong person to ask because, because you're always against it i think that the it. law itself is it should go right So I think every case brought by mm-hmm. anyone in a crim- criminal defamation scenario is a bad case. Right. So therefore I have a lot of people um you know I lose a lot of money in life, right? Because is- a lot of people are coming to me saying that you can you bring a criminal defamation case and mm-hmm. I have to in some cases regretfully say uh, no because no, I don't no. believe in the law so I'm not going to do it, uh, you know. Most recently this year I think Kenya was one of the last countries uh the kenyan high court struck down uh, criminal defamation right it's even more important that the laws be well tailored mm-hmm. now what does that mean it means that the any restriction to free speech actually be reasonable actually be proportionate as mm. a long line of jurisprudence uh, supreme court jurisprudence requires right mm. mm. deepika padikone ko aur sanjay leela bhansali ko ya to desh chhod kar chale jaye anyatha उनका सर कलम करने वालों को पांच करोड़ का इनाम अखिल भारतीय क्षत्रिय युवा महासभा देगी जब पांच करोड़ रुपए संजय लीला भंसाली की गर्दन काटने के लिए कहते हैं मित्रों अगर हमें दस करोड़ भी देने पड़े तो क्या हम दे सकते हैं कि नहीं दे सकते दे सकते हैं कि नहीं दे सकते हमारे भाइयों ने पहले गलती कर दी जय गेट के किले में उसको दो झापट लगा के छोड़ दिया अगर उस टाइम उसका सर काट के उस किले में लटकाया होता तो आज हमें यह दिन ना देखना पड़ता ये जरूरत नहीं है ये इस तमाशे की जरूरत नहीं है तलवार वलवार निकाल के रखने की जरूरत नहीं है आप क्या कर रहे हैं नो डे नो डे इज रूटीन ऑन टाइम्स नाउ इट्स वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग कुनाल द लास्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स वे मीडिया हैज इवॉल्व इन दिस कंट्री पार्टी ऑल्सो वाई वी फील वॉट वी आर डूंग एट द वायर इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट बट you know uh, arun shori has a has a pretty funny line uh, former bjp maybe he's still in the bjp but the former minister yeah. when he describes some of these channels that you're talking about as yeah. north korean channels yeah, right yeah. so <laughs> for those of your viewers who don't know what this means please go on youtube or google and look for yeah, north yeah. korean tv and you will find the most hilarious version yeah, yeah, of some that. of our channels yeah. basically endless uh, you know news items singing the praise of the dear leader the really? beloved leader you know kind of bhajan mandali kind of media right yeah. or what ravish calls godi media yeah, yeah. puri duniya mein media satta ki god mein khel raha hai ye media godi media hai angrezi mein ise embedded journalism kehte hain hindi mein koi shabd nahi tha isliye ise aap godi media keh sakte hain wo media jo god mein baithna pasand karta hai you know other banan these guys godi yeah, yeah godi media is a good term actually it really captures you know captures it very very nicely right yeah, yeah. प्रधानमंत्री मोदी वक्त के जबरदस्त पाबंद हैं चाहे रात में कितनी भी देर तक जग रहे हों लेकिन तड़के ही जग जाते हैं और फिर देर रात तक 
वो काम में लगे रहते हैं मोदी की मेहनत का राज क्या है बीस घंटे काम और चार घंटे आराम ये प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की सबसे बड़ी यूएसपी है यूनिक सेलिंग पॉइंट बढ़ती उम्र में प्रधानमंत्री की चुस्ती और मेहनत लोगों में ये कौतूहल जगाती है कि वो छियासठ साल के बुजुर्ग हैं या फिर जवान तो फिर क्या कहा जाए हार्ड वर्क हो तो मोदी जैसा प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्पियर हेड द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द बीजेपी इज इवन मोर एग्जैक्टिंग सो द नेशन वॉन्ट्स टू नो द लास्ट क्वेश्चन How many hours a day do you work? आप दिन में कितने घंटे काम करते हैं देखिए ऐसे एवरेज तो निकालना ठीक नहीं होगा मगर चुनाव के वक्त 18-20 घंटे के आसपास काम होता है That is incredible. Now, let us look at the ownership structures of some of the big media houses. Some of the big media houses. Now, a lot of the big media houses mm. have cross ownership. Mm. And so then you have interests, you have certain commercial interests, right? That Every reporter that I have spoken to about this issue, in such, you know, has said that it's very difficult for us, right, um, to speak about the industry that is owned by the owner of my paper. Oh, right? right, it's incredibly difficult, even with some of the more credible papers that are otherwise. Hmm? So, therefore, I think media ownership is very important. Mm. You know, because the thing is, nobody otherwise knows what the hell is going on in this yes. country, It and is. this is a huge problem because we ourselves, as taxpayers, mm -hmm. right, are paying for the government to brainwash us and to tell us how great they are. You have made a speech to the U.S. Congress, but by the way, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, it was a fantastic speech. Thank you. <laughs> There was a lot of humor. आप काफी हंसी मजाक भी कर रहे थे उस स्पीच में इम्प्रॉम टू था क्या एंड आई थिंक इट वॉज अ वंडरफुल मोमेंट वेन यू आर स्पीकिंग और पाकिस्तान के मुद्दे पर आप आप मतलब अनकॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग अप्रोच रहा है आपका आई मीन यू कीप अ टेरिफाइंग फेस आपका अप्रोच प्रोएक्टिव है प्रधानमंत्री जी देर हैज बीन नो मेजर फाइनेंशियल करप्शन और स्कैम इन योर टेन योर यू आर स्पीकिंग एज स्ट्रेट एज यू डेड बिफोर यू टू कवर एज प्राइम मिनिस्टर You spoke frankly. The program is frankly speaking, and I'm thankful to you that you were so frank. बहुत लंबा कर दिया. In an unequal society, yeah, a politician who represents the privileged minority, which right. in India is not Muslims as BJP says, yeah, but the elite or the rich, yeah, right, the large corporate sector. Right? These are the guys who funded the Congress in 2009. Yeah. These are the guys who funded the BJP in 2014. Right? Yeah. So, you know, Modi represents them, mm. and the policies are uh, being being executed essentially mm. with one eye on them. Mm. At the same time, in a in a electoral system such as we have, mm. you have to carry people along also. Right? Yeah. So, so the the challenge that he faces is how do I satisfy those guys who are paying for my campaign? Right. by delivering policies that they want mm. even though those policies are going to piss off the majority right right so the way you square the circle is by telling the majority mm. that your problem is not the ambani's or adani's who mm. are paying for my campaign right your problem is that muslim guy who is opposing triple talaq yeah. your problem is shah jahan who built taj mahal right, right. your problem is some guy love they concoct this thing of love jihad right so diversion this, this is such a patently bogus politics but it is essentially being done because they have no answer right? yeah. like in 2019 now in uttar pradesh or any other place in india young people who bought the promise of you know 10 crore jobs and all this kind of thing that was made yeah. to them they're going to say boss where are the jobs right right so at that point we are being told ki itna bada mujassama ramchandra ji ka khada kiya jayega uttar pradesh ki yogi sarkar ram bhakto ko ayodhya mein ek bada tohfa dene ki badi taiyari kar chuki hai sariyu nadi mein भगवान राम की 100 मीटर ऊंची प्रतिमा बनाने का प्लान पूरी तरह से तैयार कर लिया गया है आखिर भगवान की मूर्ति पर इतनी आपत्ति क्यों है लेकिन एक बड़ा सवाल ये भी है कहीं ऐसा तो नहीं कि राम मंदिर की जगह भक्तों को राम मूर्ति का लॉलीपॉप दिया जा रहा है भक्त बोले जय श्री राम लेकिन योगी बोले अब समारक ऐसी चलाओ काम बिल्कुल नहीं 
दोनों बनेगा मंदिर भी बनेगा स्मारक भी बनेगा मूर्ति भी बनेगा चबूतरा भी बनेगा रामकथा गैलरी भी बनेगा ऑडिटोरियम भी बनेगा श्री राहुल गांधी शिव जी को अपना आदर्श मानते हैं और कहते हैं कि वह शिव भक्त हैं तो यहाँ पर उपस्थित कांग्रेस के नेता मैं उनसे जानना चाहता हूँ कि क्या कारण है कि वह श्री रामचंद्र जी के मंदिर के लिए जो सुनवाई चल रही है उसको रोकना चाहते हैं इतने सालों से राम मंदिर नहीं बना पाए सब कुछ बन गया ये बात है नहीं बनना नहीं बनना मंदिर तो बनेगा जय श्री राम वो भारत देश है मेरा Right, and also the other thing is that I mean we are now entered a period where it's very open. Like earlier, when someone had to say something horribly racist, they used to at least look right and left. Yeah. Now yeah. that is also gone now. Yeah. Asli Hindu ho to batao. Mere tarah ki Ram Mandir wahi banega. Main challenge karta hu. Aap log rote reh jayenge. Mandir to wahi banega. Kaan khol ke sunye meri baat. Abuja Maulana. Kaan khol ke sun lijiye. Chup aap se arti karwayenge Maulana. Dekhiye, main hath jod ke kehta hu ki Acharya ji aur Maulana ji dono ja ke namaz padhe. Aap bandhaye Pandit ji. Pandit ji khandi karna band karo desko. Mulla ji chillaiye mat. Pandit ji desko khandi karna band karo. Band ki jiye. Mulla ji Pandit Sandeep Patra ji. Pandit Sandeep Patra ji. Mulla ji chillaiye mat. के नाम पर राम को तोड़ने का कार्यक्रम बंद करो हे प्रभु इस देश को क्या हो गया इस देश को क्या हो गया तो ये मुल्ले कट मुल्ले और ये देश रोजी लोग जो हैं आप तो आपको तो पाकिस्तान चला जाना चाहिए नहीं देखिए आप तुम भाग जाओ जाने के लिए नहीं भाग जाओ तुम भाग जाओ तुम राष्ट्र के नागरिक नहीं हो हाँ uh republic's great rival which is times now was debating maybe some issue on vande mataram and madrasas one of the usual muslim bashing stuff right And news came about the Gorakpur. death of kids in Gorakhpur, right? And when a guest tried to say, "Ki, but ye hua hai ispe baal, let me should talk about this," the anchor says, "How dare you divert attention from the real issue?" Thirty children die and their lives don't matter. Should they sing Vande Mataram? Should their parents sing Vande Mataram? We and understand that today Allah is Allah a sad day Allah when thirty children Islam have lost their lives Islam in Allah Gorakhpur Allah in a in a hospital because of certain. Uh, uh conditions of lack of oxygen supply we understand that let's not beat our chest in a manner as if as if something there. like this has never and happened in akhilesh yadav's time uh, when the debate is on vande matram you are bringing up this issue because you are running away from the real issue yeah so the real issue is this wretched vande matram madrasa you know whatever the thing debate crap debate they were having that day not the death of you know 50 plus kids in a hospital Thank you very much to all my panelists for joining me here on debate number 1 Vande Mataram for all going across to Anand who's got Akshay Kumar with him yes Anand it's going to be a very interesting news hour at 10 we're waiting to see the blockbuster toilet film of Akshay Kumar and we are wanting to get a glimpse of Akshay Kumar is he with you It is obvious, like the triple talaq judgment. Mm. Uh, there was uh, BJP guys with dhol. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, the, they were playing dhol below my house. Mm. And when I heard the dhol and I saw the judgment, I was expecting some Muslim women to also be there because the judgment was about empowering women. But none of them were dancing. I saw this occasion like three, four times, three, four places around, and nobody, I, no, nowhere I saw Muslim women dancing. Mm. So what BJP was celebrating, I thought, mm. from mm. my from my point of view, was not that we have empowered Muslim women today. They were celebrating that we've cut privileges of a Muslim man. You know the reason I think you're absolutely right is because whenever in these debates on the triple talaq, mm. which I absolutely uh, uh, supported mm. the, the sort of getting rid yeah. of uh, triple talaq, right? Mm. Whenever in these debates, I would raise the fact that the Hindu Marriage Act is actually a very uh, problematic piece of re- legislation in terms of women's rights. Mm. I would get trolled for it really badly. Relentlessly, yeah. So now the thing is that what you're doing then is that you're saying that अच्छा मेरी यू नो तुम्हारी पेट्रिया की पेट्रिया की मेरी पेट्रिया की रिलीजन यू नो एंड यू सी दिस अक्रॉस द बोर्ड यू सी दिस विथ माइनॉरिटी बिसीज कम्युनिटीज वेदर दे आर रेफ्यूजीज समवेयर वेदर दे आर इमिग्रेंट वेदर इट्स एन इमिग्रेंट कम्युनिटी समवेयर वेदर इट्स बेटन इन इंडिया यू नो दैट द वुमेन फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंप्लेन अबाउट सेक्शुअल वायलेंस हैरसमेंट एनी थिंग एट ऑल बिकॉज दे सी दैट यू आर बिट्रेइंग द Cause of our small community against yeah. the bullies, 
Right. And these women said that, no, it is overdue. We are going to go to the court. And they won. And they won. Yeah. They won. And it's very weird how when I see politicians reacting to huh. to uh, to Supreme Court uh, judgments, uh, when it's in when it suits their narrative, they come out and say we should all respect the Supreme Court judgment, like uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party did during Triple Talaq, right? Mm. Where they came and said, yeah, Supreme Court, very good thing, which I also agree, great thing. Mm. Uh, how about the Pataka ban? Yeah, but now in the Pataka ban, they've done the exact opposite. Exclusive visuals of a BJP leader distributing fire trackers in Delhi. That's right. As you can see in this picture, Tejander Bagga in that white shirt and blue turban openly flouting that norm and distributing kids. Distributing them to kids. <laughs> but it's funny how I thought actors live in this bubble of like nobody telling them they are bad actors or bad human beings. But now these politicians also live in the same bubble where nobody's telling them that, listen, you're just not doing your job. You're really bad. Kindly just do your job. Should I give you an example of the worst kind of bubble? Please. Before the 2014 election, Rahul Gandhi gave his famous interview to Arnab Goswami, who was right. then with Times Now. Right? right. Can you believe that they asked for 48 hours from Times Now, I'm reliably told, uh, at, you know, for them to take a decision, can they show it or not? Okay? And you think, yeah, once you review that bloody interview, obviously you say, yeah, don't show it. Right, but nobody had the guts to tell uh, Rahul Gandhi ki boss is interviewing like really bad. You yeah. know? And this is your first TV interview? Your first interview? Well, it's it's not my first interview, but it's my first formal interview of this type, yeah. You, you don't, don't have thick skin, Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Politicians need to have thick skin. And Mr. Gandhi, can I say If I don't have a thick skin right can, now, it'll get thick. Can, can I tell you, one thing? Thick, I I tell you one thing, Mr. Gandhi? Yeah, say you're a serious politician. I assure you, Mr. Gandhi, I'm a very serious journalist. Had you not been a Gandhi, would you have been in politics at all? My question was, if you were not a Gandhi, would you be in politics? The thrust in this situation, you're trying to justify it to yourself that you need to do it. But heart of heart, are you a politician? I think we should have a debate. Mr. No, I'm, I'm... I think we should have a debate. Maybe you find me strange because... No, I don't find you strange. Uh, well, you, you, you sort of... Uh, Implied that. Have you or have you lost the election before it's begun? Are you battle ready? Uh, battle ready, of course. We're going to win. How? I can't believe he let that go out if it was in his hands. <laughs> because that interview yeah, is the... Somewhat. Somewhat. Doesn't yeah. matter. I, I, mean, I, would say, not... I would say reasonably. Okay, this is a gossip section on the podcast. <laughs> 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 So I have realized that the BJP has best solutions when it comes to making vote bank and getting votes. Mm. Because they have cracked that for He's sure. Very good at it. Ahaam log ek nara lagaye karte the. Aap sangharsh karo, ham aapke saath hain. Lekin ab nara lagaye ki nahi aap raj karo aur ham aapke saath hain. Jara uthaiye mere saath mein hath. Dono hath uthaiye. Bandhiya, ba apne ap apni muttiya bandhiye. Modi ji, aap raj karo. Modi ji, aap raj karo. Modi ji, aap raj karo. What's happening is to take the voter from being a citizen and a questioning thinking person to make that voter a consumer, mm. a consumer of thought. Right. Right? Isliye, uh, uh, WhatsApp forward up, bheste jao, bheste jao, bheste jao. And of course, WhatsApp is like one of the big battlegrounds of elections now. Mm -hmm. Right? Because if you look at UP, I think they had 5,000 people on their social media team there. Mm -hmm. And it was structured. So they had it down to the district level. And so they were tailoring their uh, 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 media output, depending on who they were talking to, which is the way to do it. गाय का दूध हो गोबर हो या गौमूत्र गाय मरते दम तक समाज की भलाई का काम निष्काम भाव से करती है यानी गाय मांस के मुकाबले मां की भूमिका में ज्यादा फिट बैठती है यानी गाय को मारने से ज्यादा फायदा जिंदा रखने में है इसलिए हमें लगता है कि गाय उस मुर्गी की तरह है जो सोने का अंडा देती है और सोने का अंडा देने वाली मुर्गी को मारना समझदारी नहीं हो सकती सी द रिपब्लिक is far more uh, resilient mm. than the so-called defenders of Bharat Mata yeah. 
you know would would believe right so if somebody says something which people don't like about mm. kashmir mm. or if somebody draws a cartoon mm. or somebody makes a statement mm-hmm. right india has withstood this kind of stuff for centuries and will continue to withstand this kind of stuff. so india is not a kind of fragile entity that kisi ne kuch keh diya to mulk hamara khatam ho jayega it's nonsense right yeah. so what i find astonishing is that the champions of bharat mata and all this kind mm-hmm. of were busy leveling you know have mm-hmm. have such little faith yeah. in the strength and resilience of the country ironically the man who's pushing for the one day mataram roll out himself failed the test when asked to sing the national song main kya keh raha hu himmat se kehna chahiye ki rashtriya geet gayenge bande mataram gayenge hame gaane mein फकर होना चाहिए अच्छा अलग साहब अलग साहब आपको आता है पूरा वंदे मातरम मेरे को मानने में कोई संकोच नहीं कि मुझे पूरा वंदे मातरम नहीं आता आप कह रहे हैं कि आपको आता है आप गा के सुना दीजिए अच्छे से चार लाइने दो लाइने सुना दीजिए आपको कहना चाहता हूँ दो लाइने सर आपको मैं सुना दूंगा अभी सुना दीजिए सर मैं वेट कर आई एम वेटिंग फॉर यू सर प्लीज सर फोर लाइन अलग साहब मैंने अलग साहब मैंने डिबेट रोक दी अलग साहब मैंने डिबेट रोक दी पर ये तो दोहरापन है ना आप जबरदस्ती कर रहे हैं कि गाइए गाइए आप गाइए आप गाइए आप देशभक्ति साइंस सिखाइए हमने रिक्वेस्ट किया भाई आप गा के सुना दीजिए वंदे मातर पसीना फूल गया मंत्री जी के ये ये क्या है मतलब वॉट इज दिस अरे कुछ तो सोचिए कुछ तो भगवान का भी सोचिए कि आप जबरदस्ती करके दूसरों को सिखा रहे हैं आपको आता नहीं है खुद हे प्रभु इस देश को क्या हो गया इस देश को क्या हो गया संशयाम मल्याम सुब्रत ज्योतिषम पुलकिस्याम सुमिता दुमल सुनामी सुहासिन सुमंद्र भूषमानी वंदे मातरम यही है सियासत की असली तस्वीर बनवा somebody is given power and you don't have countervailing or you don't have kind of checks and balances you don't have either enough opposition mps or mlas or you don't have a strong press or you don't have other strong institutions that can you know hold that person to account mm. uh, you are bound to get situations where the person in power's ego becomes ginormous yeah, yeah. chappan ye wo right yeah, yeah, all of that. or uh, that decisions are taken to which they are not accountable mm. and they don't have to give an explanation like demonetization yeah. and also don't ask questions because after all bharat mata ki jai mm. after all like it's anti national you want to support the national project karne ki koshish to kar rahe hain the main thing i hear about support of the pm is this you know the role that the opposition can't play mm. has to be played by the media true right so uh, even if it looks like the media is asking difficult questions and you know maybe focusing more on the government unless you're republic tv and, <laughs> and, uh, and you're look, looking only at the opposition <laughs> we have seen double speak from the congress party they abuse the prime minister for his humble origins they abuse the prime minister for coming from a poor family modi 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 attack modi abuse modi attack modi abuse modi aaj rahul gandhi sea plane mein jaate to aap sunit chopra ashtang pranam karte nahi main yahi aap karte aap karte you would have been slavish in your response viewers rahul gandhi rahul gandhi's twitter handle rahul gandhi's twitter handle rahul gandhi's twitter handle is whatever office of rg or whatever from where he or pd tweet from rahul gandhi was not did not even study in an indian university did not complete a degree in an indian university rahul gandhi led a cloistered life in an antediluvian public school somewhere in dehradun these are relevant questions about rahul on a day the prime minister delivered a whole lot of swagger on a day the prime minister delivered a whole lot of swagger a whole lot of swagger yeah chak kar mitra da swag billo gaddi te kurta pajama to me black billo ki other thing is which is kind of which is kind of blows my mind it explodes because how have we become a country where violence is celebrated and it's so ironic because we got constitutionalized and our independence through non violence but as a country now we are only mostly celebrating you know violence. it's a sort of race to the race to being the most violent right, right? because you have a sangeet som and you have this other fellow vinay katiar yeah. bjp mp so you have them mm. these are all party people elected party people right and they make 
Adityanath look better? Who makes Modi look better? Who makes Vajpayee ji, who, let us face it, at one point said every uh, about the pogrom that every action has a reaction. They make if people are now yearning for Vajpayee, you know. So the thing is that you see that everyone you have this race yeah. to the bottom in terms of um, violence. It's just weird that when I don't I hope we don't see this in the near future. But when Yogi Ji will come into power, I think Modi Ji will look moderate. Yeah. No, which, is already, sad, <laughs> which is so sad. Which is already happened, and then after that you have Sangeet Som. बहुत लोगों को बड़ा दर्द हुआ कि आगरा का ताज महल ऐतिहासिक स्थलों में से निकाल दिया गया। कैसा इतिहास? कहाँ का इतिहास? कौन सा इतिहास? क्या वो इतिहास? कि ताज महल बनाने वाले ने उत्तर प्रदेश और हिंदुस्तान से सभी हिंदुओं का सरोनास करने का काम किया था? तो ये दुर्भाग्य की बात है और मैं गारंटी के साथ आपसे कहता हूँ कि इतिहास बदला जाएगा। बिल्कुल कहेंगे और मैं आज कहूंगा आपके कैमरे के सामने कह रहा हूं कि अखलाक परिवार को जेल भेजना चाहिए हर हालत में जेल भेजना चाहिए आप कह रहे हैं उसके परिवार को जेल बिल्कुल भेजना चाहिए जिसकी मौत हो गई आप कह रहे हैं कि उसके परिवार को जेल भेज देना चाहिए आप जस्टिफाई कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल संगीत सोम पे इल्जाम है कि उन्होंने फेसबुक पे पाकिस्तान की एक वीडियो फुटेज मुजफ्फरनगर की बता के लगाई जिससे दंगा हुआ उन पे एक पंचायत में मजहबी नफरत फैलाने वाला भाषण देने का भी इल्जाम है वैसे नरेंद्र मोदी लोकसभा चुनाव के दौरान ही संगीत सोम और सुरेश राणा के बेगुनाह होने का ऐलान कर चुके हैं ये वोट बैंक की राजनीति के खातिर निर्दोष लोगों को जेल में बंद करने के हथकंडे कर रहे हैं। The Wire uh, as an organization has also reported a few pro uh, Modi uh, policies, work done, etc., which the people never latch on to. Which is always like Wire is looked at so- someone which is just anti the government. I mean, it would be slightly hypocritical if we would say that we've had a prime minister for three years and he's done nothing good. Right. I mean, for example, when he had the India-Africa summit, mm-hmm. okay, a lot of uh, his foreign policy initiatives. Mm. Uh, I think the International Solar Alliance, like the work he's doing on solar energy, mm. for example. Uh, I really welcome Modi's shift. Uh, you know, Manmohan Singh was kind of nuclear obsessed. Yeah. Right now, I don't have a, a theological problem with nuclear energy. Huh. But there are environmental issues, there are serious cost issues. And I think Modi has done well to move towards renewables like wind, solar, etc. Right? Mm. Uh, the idea of sanitation and Swachh Bharat, even mm. though I think the design and implementation mm. is seriously problematic because they've yeah. kind of made it, made it a target-oriented, uh, uh, you know, where you give quantitative targets to people at the uh, lower down the food mm. chain and they're implementing them in bizarre ways. Right? Mm. So a lot of the... Points of emphasis that Mr. Modi has, right, are excellent, right? Particularly, as I said, sanitation or mm. his first speech uh, from the Red Fort mm. when he uh, attacked patriarchal values when it comes to violence against women, uh, uh, and he also said that there should be a ban on hate speech. He said, you know, he said a lot of interesting and good mm. things. Mm. As a as a media organization, we report positives, we report negatives. Uh, it is not just true of this government. Mm. It is true of all governments that uh, the bulk of what they do deserves closer scrutiny and a lot of it deserves questions to be asked and even criticisms to be raised. Right. When we have a generation of journalists who are growing up in an age of retweets and likes and they do not know that criticism from a government is a badge of honor. In this selfie journalism, if you don't have the facts, it doesn't matter. You just put a flag in the frame and you hide behind it. It is not that good journalism is dying, not at all. It is getting better and it is getting bigger. It is that bad journalism makes a lot more noise than it used to do five years ago. But after we did the story, mm. about which I'm not allowed to speak, because, mm-hmm. there is, because Mr. Amit Shah's son got an ex parte injunction. So you got a judge to issue an injunction without hearing us. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So I'm not allowed to talk about that story, so I won't talk about the story. But the kind of outpouring of support that we have got mm. from people on social media, right? Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, uh, guys saying that, look, we see great value in the journalism that The Wire mm-hmm. is doing. Uh, hang in there, don't back down. You haven't done anything wrong. Don't give up. 
keep fighting you know so i think that uh, i think it's more than that i think it's not just that you haven't done anything wrong it is that thank you yeah thank you thank you for yes. standing up and telling the truth and telling us what is going on in our own country mm. because so many other people are not yeah. you are well, talking about the second most powerful possibly the most powerful person in this country um and so i think in such a situation when a reporter like rohini singh who let us be absolutely clear has written stories about robert vadra and uh, that scam mm. right mm. when she writes this and she stands up mm. when siddharth vadrajan and the wire stand up mm. then i think there is this effect on everyone else and they say that i am also going to stand up big thank you for being here a big thank you but you know it's a good time for us to wrap up this mm. uh, session thank you so much for coming out the both of you all uh, and doing this uh, you all did it on really short notice so i really want to thank you for doing this and also this is just urging you guys if you find merit in what wire does please uh, donate uh, money to wire in whatever capacity you can and uh, if you're a brand today like there are nine logos i see on uh, uh, television anchors who kind of promote hate through day in and day out if you are a brand if you want to take a political stand if you if you think there is merit in approaching wire to kind of be with them take that call uh, and that's it thank you so much for coming out thank you thanks hey shut up ya kunal shut up ya kunal now the good thing when a right is like really mm. taken away from mm. you is that you then appreciate the right. right so now you have you know rahul gandhi subramanyam swami arvind mm. kejriwal i was representing greenpeace right. saying strike down criminal defamation right everyone was aligned there right, right. Uh, some people from the media Huh. free speech was something that was discussed in parliament mm. so now the value of sort of constitutional free speech not a free for all a, re- a sort of proportionate well tailored laws on speech mm. is i think now being realized which is a very good thing right and the thing is that when such a thing is taken away you have people mm. giving money to organizations like the wire right, right. because <clears throat> they are because of this idea of power mm. besieging voice <laughs> लॉजिक के बदले में सोच मिलता है वो खोले जो उसको ऑरेंज लड्डू मिलता है ये ही देश नहीं जो मुल्क की रेस है इसमें सच में किया क्या मोफलाट फेस है देखो मैंने अब सवाल करने छोड़ दिए हैं मैंने तेज भागने को नहीं जुते लिए मेरे सारे सपने धीरे धीरे मर रहे हैं याचन में हमारे जवान लड़ रहे हैं